Welcome back to another episode of Geared Up. I'm on the Revival on Platte project just behind me here in Denver, Colorado. And I'm going to sync up with a gentleman named Tyler O'Donnell, who's a senior safety engineer out here. And he's going to walk us through three innovative, unique fall protection systems that I'm about to learn a lot about. Best thing we can do, as always, is get on site and check it out. We're on a mission to find tools and equipment that have game-changing potential for making the work safer and better for all the people on our projects. This is Geared Up. I appreciate you taking this time. Absolutely. Can you walk me through this giant green behemoth behind us? Yes. What is this guy? This is a modular jib system that allows for overhead tie-off. We have it sitting here in this parking lot because as you can see, next to us on both sides, we have uh, tractor trailers with panels on top of it. Right on. So if for shipping, those panels come in stacked up to 13 foot high. Okay. Our guys need to get on top of there to do the rigging. Right on. So we needed to come up with a creative and innovative solution to uh, have our guys be tied off on top with such a tremendous fall exposure. Sure. Okay. So like looking at this thing, yes, it's, you can move this thing around. You that's take right. the, this must be just like counterweight. That is the counterweight base. That's fork liftable. Yeah. Gotcha. So you move this thing around, you get it situated yep. and then this becomes your loading area. That's correct. And if I'm, if I'm going to go climb up on the truck, yep. I got my, I got my yo-yo or whatever I got that's to right. tie. And then I hook in and I can climb up. And if something were to happen, I misstep. That's I'd fall and be safe. Exactly. So okay. we're actually using uh, scissor lifts to get up and access the top while yep. connected to the Beautiful. modular jib. Beautiful. So we can exit easily. And uh, this jib, modular jib, you can move it, the tower and the mast to make sure to keep that anchor uh, in line with you to minimize the swing fall potential. So that was just one of three. Uh, I hear that you've got one on a boom lift and you got one on a deck. Which one do you want to check uh, on we'll next? We'll go check the boom lift now. Right on, All let's right. do it. You promised to walk us through a yes. second one. Here yep. we are, what do you got? Yeah, so this uh, sliding rail system um, is called the bolt-on external fall arrest system for boom lifts, right? Okay. Um, so again, this is a pretty innovative device, yeah. which allows us to have maintain 100% fall protection while outside of the boom lift. Down. Sure. Walk me through the step-by-step -step procedure. Yep. Will you please? So like you bolt it on. Yes. Okay. So it would come bolted on. Comes bolted so, on. Yes, it would come to us bolted on. Yep. And it has this sliding D-ring rail, engineered, welded connection, etc. Sure. Right? We require tie off inside the basket. So you'd already be tied off. You would then clip to this one, unhook that one and exit. Gotcha. So there's always gotcha. The tie-off that you have in the basket Correct. is required to operate the machine. Yes. However, if you're going to exit, yes. you need to be tied off to this Absolutely. System. Got yep. it. We yes. were talking a little bit about decks. You got another system on the deck to tie off? And, yes, we do. And operate more safely? Yes, we do. All right, what's that one called? That one is called the Garlock LifePoint Duo System. Okay, so in order to get information on that, I think we should just stare at it hard, right? Yes, we you should. You want to go up on the deck and yeah, check it out? Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, so it is a mobile fall protection cart. We okay. mentioned it's a LifePoint Duo System. Um, gotcha. It's called a duo system because, as you can see, there are two fall protection anchors uh, welded to this car. Sure. Right? So this one here, as you can see, is for fall arrest, different rating, and this anchor here is for fall restraint. So the nice part about this is you can have two people tied off to it at the same time. One arrest, one restraint, or okay. two restraint. Let's just say hypothetical, very hypothetical, I don't yes. know the difference between Arrest and restraint. Sure. Can you explain that to me? So for arrest, you need a 5,000 pound anchor. For restraint, you only need 3,000. The reason for that difference is because with arrest, there is potential for a fall. Sure. So if you do fall, there's additional forces that yeah. would transpire and load that anchor, right? Okay. With restraint, um, there is no potential for the fall gotcha. because you're being restrained prior From to- From an edge or something. That's right, prior gotcha. to getting to the edge. So this is like, if I know my edge is 10 feet out, yes. I gotta do work on a deck, I'd wear an eight foot retraction. Sure, you'd always want it to be a little so shorter yeah. so then you yeah. can't get to the edge. Got yes. it, got it. Yep. So Correct. it looks like this thing can roll around. Yeah, this can thing can- you show me how that works? Yes, this thing can absolutely roll around. Um, this has this red latch here that okay. we can lift this handle up. When we do the lifting up and yeah. the rolling around, it's not rated for tie off. Sure, yeah. The tie off is only when the weights are when down sit, and the wheels seated. are up. Okay. So right now, we're just doing a demonstration. We'd be putting these wheels onto oh, the ground. Okay. So if I pull this over. Yep. yep. So, so now, now you can it's move mobile. your tie off point. That's correct. Now right. we can move our tie off point. Cool. With the weight still in it and the fall protection hooked up. Right on. 
All right, so seems like a pretty easy solution right there. I'm used to the Raptor carts, but like you were saying, those when those engage, they like bite your deck. Or Correct. Something? So we needed one that was non-penetrating because we did not want to uh, damage the structural decking yeah. or the the floor joists underneath. So yeah. this one is non-penetrating. It's able to essentially like it was never there. All three of these different solutions have different use cases, but man, keeping it simple, keeping it uh, safe is a big part of our work. I yep. appreciate you taking the time to walk me through the details. Yep, absolutely. Thanks again, brother. Yeah, thank you. All right, everybody. Thanks again for joining. And thank you, Tyler, for walking us through those three fall arrest systems. Very informative stuff. For those of you at home, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor, leave a comment or two. We're always looking at them. We're always looking for new stuff to check out. So thanks again for joining, and we'll see you next time on another episode of Geared Up.